Fight number two here on our fight card of 14. We got Brian Walker making his debut against Pat Webb, sporting a one and one record out of total boxing in Dahlonega, Georgia. Pat Webb came out looking ready to go. Yeah, I was I was just admiring the intensity in his eyes. I mean, he's he's very relaxed. He's calm. Yeah. Brian looks like a, a, a caged animal right now, ready to let loose. And here we go with yeah. round one. It touched gloves. Yeah, this is Brian's debut, but I would expect Muay Thai to be in his game plan coming out of Blake Grice's gym. Oh, you already know that. Hence the name Hit Squad. Yeah. Oh, Just talk about a hit. Look at that. Yeah, Pat Webb landing a nice right hook. Oh, going for the takedown. Look at that. Look at here. And a nice knee. But Brian still persistent in the takedown. Oh, look at this. Man, Pat Webb with a big underhook takedown. A nice display of strength there by Webb. He is on top now here in side control. I'm sorry, Brian getting his guard back. Again, amateur MMA, no punches to the face on the ground will be allowed in this fight. And I know that is killing these guys. Definitely. <laughs> Big body punches by Pat Webb here in the first round. Pat now stepping over here in the half guard. Brian's looking for an underhook, probably trying to sweep him. Pat Webb doing a good job, keeping him on top. Maybe looking for a dark choke here. If he can get his left arm in there, no. Well, maybe, maybe an arm in guillotine, no? Yeah. Looks like he lets go of it. Yeah, Pat seems really relaxed here. That's, yeah. a, that's a good quality to have as a fighter. Came out, was dancing around a little bit. Yeah. Shaking hands with the fans. Embracing the moment. That's what you got to do. Pat's looking good from on top here. Yeah. Looking to do more damage. Brian's looking to maybe armbar Pat's left, or I'm sorry, right arm. Let's it go. Got those long limbs. He has the ability to do it. Yeah. He's just got to go for it. Again, looking for that arm bar. Nope. Pat shaking him off. Good awareness there by Webb to just shrug that attempted arm bar. Pat now posturing up here. Again looking for an arm bar. He says no, thank you, and gives him some more hammer fists to the body. Now passes the side control. It's a much more dominant position for Webb. Webb may be looking for a Kamori here, but he flips right back over to Mount. Good transition there by Webb. Back yeah. in the half guard. Yeah, you know, in, in novice MMA, I would actually, I used to prefer side control opposed to mount. There's more opportunities for a submission in side control because of the rules to no punches to the face. And then if you wanted to just get back in mount and, and just pound them out, you yeah. can do that too. Yeah. So I, I do agree. It, it is a lot of opportunities. Yeah, not to sit the dominant like mount. That was a good round for Webb. Yeah, got a hematoma on the forehead of Brian Walker. Oh, my. Well, I guess with the with the damage that Pat Webb was doing, that shouldn't be no surprise. Yeah. All right, round number two underway. Yeah, that's a nice looking little hematoma there. I I, I bet uh, Mark Hominick is somewhere smiling. <laughs> Oh, short right hook lands by Pat. Again, stuffing the takedown from Brian. And another takedown there by Pat Webb. Yeah, Brian seems to be a, uh, the one looking for the takedown, but Pat again landing here on top. And now Brian's got Pat up against the fence again, looking for a single. Like, and, and now he, he takes it. him down. Now let's see what Brian can do here from the top position. Got him inside control here. Looks like got, Pat has got his head wrapped up here. Man, I didn't know they taught double legs at Blake Grice's gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the head oh. training center would be the last place you learn a double leg <laughs> takedown, especially with Blake Grice, let me tell you. Shout out to Blake Grice, the best beard in the business. <laughs> the beard of all beards, I, be <laughs> I believe. Brian holding Pat down now. 
This is big for Brian. He definitely lost that first round, 10-9. Oh, no doubt about it. But if he can ride this out here in round two, the third round will be interesting. Now he's looking to get the crucifix position. Pat now back to his base. Brian's looking to take his back. He's got over under. Little got those double underhooks in now. Looks in. Looking to work on the rear naked choke. Oh, and he, he may have it here, Jesse. It looks like he's got it. Money tap. He's got it cinched in deep. He's got it. He's shaking him. He's tapping. He's got that rear naked choke locked on tight here, folks. Wow. wow. Brian Walker made a surprise. The Wild Bills crowd here and choke out Pat Webb. What a comeback from Brian. Can he get it, though? He's looking to battle the hand position here. Pat is fighting it, though. He lets it go, but he's still got a dominant position here. Maybe looking to cinch it right back in there. Yeah, he's going to try and flatten Pat Webb back out. Pat Webb was in big, big trouble there. He's sunk in. And that rear so deep. going to reverse him. The guys are on him, Man, wow, what an escape there by Pat Webb. Nice display of strength. Yeah, this crowd's going pretty crazy right now. That was an awesome display of jiu-jitsu by Brian Walker. Yes, it was. Now Pat back on top where he was in round one, but again, Brian yeah. Walker fishing for that armbar. Yeah, Brian's relying with some of those submissions. Pat Webb needs to do something here from the top. Ten seconds left here in round number two. Pat Webb bringing down some body shots as the round's ending, but I definitely have to give that second round to Brian Walker. Yeah, nice, nice comeback there by Walker. Transitioning from submission to submission. Yeah, looking great. It's all going to come down to this third round. Who wants it more? That's right. You think we might have uh, the fight of the night on our hands here, Jesse, and this is only amateur MMA. Yeah, probably. Imagine if this was the pros. I don't know, though. We still got Chaz Walton fighting tonight. <laughs> That's always a treat to see that guy fight. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three minutes left. These guys have three minutes left to uh, solidify a victory here. If I was Pat Webb, I'd be pushing the pace right now. You know, Brian, Brian was looking for the takedowns in the first two rounds. Let's see if he does it again. And again, just he gets the takedown. Going for the high crotch single here. Pat Webb is doing a good job defending it. And he's driving. He might have it. A big, oh, the big slam there by Brian Walker. Wow. Brian Walker is coming back with a vengeance here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Pat yeah. Webb needs to do something off of his back. He needs, yeah. to, needs to sprawl, move around, do something. Yeah, he's taking it to Pat Webb here. Pat Webb came out pretty strong in the first round, but you know who knows? Brian Walker seems to have pretty good conditioning here. That's why the fight is never over until it's over, Jesse. Exactly. And now Brian on top here. Let's see what he does. He's got both wrists. Landing some short body shots there. Yeah, he's, he's got the under on Pat's right arm. Maybe looking to pull it up for an arm bar. Not quite deep enough, though. Pat doing a good job of trying to buck out of it, but Brian right now is just smothering him here. Yeah, he's, he's winning right now is what he's doing. He's got dominant position. He's in no hurry. Looking to go for an Americana here. Yeah, you don't see that finish every day. He needs to take his right arm and put it over Pat's face. He's going to get that. He lets it go. So, Jesse, you've been in, you've been in the confines of the cage. Well, what would you do in this position here if you got top position if you're I, in the third round? If I got top position right now, I'm holding on for dear life, waiting for the bell to ring. Well, it looks like he's got a modified choke here from the top. Yeah, he's not going to get that, though. He got no arm in. Nothing's cutting off the blood supply to the brain. He's just basically squeezing his face. And you think maybe Brian's corner may have told him to come out in the third round and possibly wear Pat Webb out. Yeah. That might have been the strategy. If that is, Brian is working it to perfection. Oh, yeah. Pat, Pat doesn't look like he can go anywhere. He's not really trying to do anything. He's not trying to buck or shrimp. Oh, but he's doing it now. Yeah, he bucked there. Unsuccessful, though. 
You now he's throwing some body shots off his back, but that's that's not going to do much for the judges. Looking for a sweep, unsuccessful again. Ten seconds left here in the third round. Pat Webb needs to do something. This is desperation time. Man. If he doesn't get out of this position, Brian Walker may walk away with this yeah, in spectacular fashion. That is the end of round three. Yeah, that's definitely that's going to be Brian Walker picking up the unanimous decision victory. Wow. Can you say comeback kid? I know it. Wow. Pat Webb came out like a house of fire, and then Brian Walker just completely cooled him off. Starting in round two with the transition of submissions, and then just came out in round three and just straight grounded him. Oh, yeah. Got top position, landed some good shots. Wow, hats off to Brian, Re Brian Walker, I should say. This was our second fight of the night, amateur MMA, scheduled for three three minute rounds, and then with the distance already.